Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV. You've joined us at part two at Indian Wells. We're on the Celebrity Golf Course. It's a three-part course vlog. Andy, we're on the 13th. What an amazing place. Yes, we've had a great start so far. No bogeys. No bogeys no yet. So hope you enjoyed part two. Make sure you check out part one. If you haven't, let's enjoy this fantastic course vlog here in Palm Springs. Let's take charge of your game. Welcome to part two, by the way. 330 yards over water, bunkers on the fairway. Loads of room right. Loads of room to the right. So the green side no. bunker is the water to the right. just right at the flag. But yeah, loads of room to the right with the clubs we're hitting. Two irons and three irons. Flag is on the right hand side of the green though, so it might be worth thinking about being slightly down the left side if we can for attacking the flag. Do you want to be ultra, ultra, ultra attacking? Two iron there, that's at the right, that's fine. Yep, good job, on the fairway. Yeah. Safe. Safe, not the best of strikes, but... No, maybe not your best line in from there either, but it should be fine though yeah. still. It's only a short clip. Out of the danger. All right then, Pierce. You got three iron? Three iron. Three iron. Again, flag probably is a line here. And he's ripped that one. Down the fairway, just towards the bunker there. You saw that down, guys. A good shot. Seems to go a long way, didn't it? Nice. Yeah. Long way. <laughs> so this that's, what, that's for not making a birdie in part one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this course, guys. So as we mentioned, the celebrity. There's two courses: celebrity and players. Celebrity was designed to really be pleasing for the eye. Um, the players course, which we're doing another course vlog as well, is a little bit more of a, a test of golf, so the real, you know, sort of tough still good golf though, course. Oh yeah, it's still, still very nice, but this has sort of got a few more features, like the water features, and it was just designed to really be pleasing on the eye, so... And it is just that, isn't it? Very nice, isn't it? It is Beautiful just that. Out here. I mean, I've never been here before, Palm Springs. You know, we've been here for about four days now, we've been here with been other courses as well, it's beautiful. But 8 o'clock in the morning and it's perfect weather in the November. winter. <laughs> I keep yeah. saying it, it's freezing out back home. Andy, okay, actually pretty good line in there, probably have to favour slightly left, you've got 102 to the flag, we can see it's on the right hand side, bunker right, so anywhere here in the middle of the screen here would be really good, maybe where the shadow of the flag is is where the material on the flag, should I say, is where he's going to be aiming. Right over your ball. Right over my ball, there we go, perfect. Okay, so 102, this is a gap wedge round, 52 degrees, plays these a little bit softer, doesn't really attack, I say attack, doesn't really whack these short irons. Likes to cruise them in, that's exactly what he's done here. Started left, fading in. Oh, it's just a bit big. Maybe he should have whacked a 58. <laughs> no, no, he's exactly the right club. Just over hit, but pretty good. Big thing, I think, that Andy, isn't it? When people are playing their short irons, wedge shots, you know, they do tend to hit it hard and, yeah. you know, try and whack it and get it there. And often they're short with short irons. Very yeah. rare people go past the flag with a short iron. We're not could have got there with the 58. Yeah. But it would have been flat out. I wouldn't have felt I've had the control when I'm just hitting that little bit softer shot with the 52. I just feel like, I'm, you know, it's all about controlling, isn't it? So I feel, I feel like I can control a softer shot rather than going full out with the 58. So I like to whack. I like to whack it past the flag and yeah, spin it back. <laughs> Which is exactly what I'm going to do here. <laughs> no, we'll see when I get there. Okay, so Pierce hit a great three iron there. Left him in perfect place in between, in the middle of the fairway. 81 yards, what club Pierce? 81, 60 degrees. Okay, so he's going for the 60, aiming left of the flag. And he's played that really nice. Spin, spin. Oh, just didn't quite get the spin. It's Did what I wanted to do. I paint it past the flag and tried to get the spin, but just didn't. Didn't quite well. happen. Didn't quite happen. Oh. Okay. Let's see what he's got. A little closer. Good shot in. He was about a yard from being spinning back. This one's going to be pretty quick downhill as well. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. 
Uh, it was definitely off the right that time. So <laughs> we're getting bamboozled. Thank you, Indian Wells, for confusing us. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay, fours, not bad, not bad. Pretty good. No bogeys still. Yeah, no bogeys, actually, no yeah. Bogeys. Pretty solid. Fairways and greens. Right then, Andy, par five, 519 yards. No birdies on the last hole. So this is a good chance. This is a. Looks beautiful. I don't think it's super, super tight. No. The green looks good though, doesn't it? Surrounded by danger. Good. Danger, danger. But with a good drive, you could be hitting a mid to short iron in, which will make it a lot easier. So let's see what you can do here. Just down the left. Should be fine. Nice. Yep. A bounce right would be nice. Did I get it? Fine, nice. That's all those trees. You alright though? Yeah, good. Right. So that one's a good way down there, that one. That was a good strike, good flight. Yeah. Then the left side, but I think I'm fine. There's no danger down there, so... Follow that then. Bit Follow that right pace. And you did follow that. That's going to be down the left. Sort of working down towards that cart path. But as you can see guys, there's no real danger out there. A few trees, but nothing that's really going to get us in the way of reaching that green into. Yep, just bunkers down the right is where we didn't want to go. Okay, there's Andy. Just right of the cart path was on it. Mine is actually on the cart path further down, so we may have done some running down the path, which is always nice for a bit of yardage. This is the flag. This is his shot, so he's got 198 yards to that flag there. This is nice, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to take a picture of this in a minute. Instagram pic. All right, here he goes. Nothing in the way. Slightly ball above, which will help it draw. Let's see what we get. I think I saw something come down on the right slightly. Bunker, bunker right, but just this middle bunker here. That's not too bad. I'll take that from there. Okay, so Pierce just had a drop off the cart path there. Anyone hey, think it was on the cart path it's gone this far? So uh, Pierce. Extra 30 yards there. 160. 164. 164, so eight iron, club of choice. Seen the green. Fantastic looking hole. See what he does? On the green. Loads of green to work with to the right of the flag. So I'm sure he's going to be just hitting it inside the bunker line. And he has just that. Just going to come down over that line there. I would say that's pretty safe. Bunker? Bunker, right. Okay. Bunker then. Similar to me. I hit mine well. It's just not gone anywhere near as far as you should have done then. I hit mine well, Pierce hit his well, but for some reason they're both short. I was going to hit 9 iron. Yeah. <laughs> they're sociable, those shots were, Pierce, right next to each other. So a little bit of a push from us two. Not too far short, we've only got like, let's say 20 yards to the flag. Let's show you what we've got faced with here. 20 yards to the flag. Pretty straightforward bunker shot. Here's to go for it. Huge heron pierce was just saying in. Take a look at that. Flag? I want want that running towards you. What's done us here is that flag is actually on the front of the green. We thought it was back of the green. We thought we'd be playing this with the Yeah. It was still short. It's a bit weird. Okay. Played it nicely, a bit of an upslope there. Yeah, not bad. Left himself probably a 12 foot putt. Right then, let's see what he's got here. Up and down for birdie. He's already made one up and down. Oh, he's hit it harder than me. Oh, he's nearly hold it. He's only nearly gone and hold it. He's gone a little past though. Still a very good shot. Well done. Well played. Okay, so he's left with a uphill putt. Not much break. But it feels right to left, but I'm not going to do too much. <laughs> okay. 
two good chances of birdie here. And oh, I just needed hitting. Just needed First hitting. Time I do get the line right, and I left it short. <laughs> Rather frustrating, isn't it? A good par. A good par. <laughs> uh, okay. For a birdie, for his second birdie of the round, and his second up and down of the round it'll be. It's the only way he makes birdies by getting up and down out of bunkers. <laughs> well done. Birdie good putt. Good putt. Golf's so so much fun when it's when it's like this, isn't it? Yes. But it's sure easy. Is. It's easy. Yes. Right then, look at this. So we have bunkers on the left at 230 yards to carry, 280 yards to hit these bunkers here in the middle, and 235, I think it was, to those ones there which aren't in place. So we're going to be hitting it straight over there. It's a good par four. It sure is. A long par four. Okay. So, he's on the birdie train. Yeah, a good birdie here. Let's see what he's got. Needs to come left a little bit. Just come left a little bit. Oh, I dug in. Nice. It's okay. It's fine. Pitched and stopped. Nice. Yep. Well, so there's plenty of room on that fairway, Pierce. I think the side of the line is definitely over the bunkers. Mine now got away with it, a little bit of a push. But if you get it over that bunker with a little bit of draw, you can really get down there. So it'd be nice to power one down there and make this hole a little shorter. Okay, so it's hit it pretty much on the same line as me. A little bit of a lower flight, so it might creep in the bunker. Not sure there if that did. I think it's fine. I think it's cool. I think it's actually in the sort of door between on the edge of the bunker. Okay, that's right. What that's what I'm hoping. He's that's hoping, what I'm hoping. For it. He's hoping there. Spit that again. That's what I'm hoping. So you were right, Pierce. Just wrong with my eyes, Andy. Just finished there. Better eyes than me. It's um, so 195 yards, guys. Let me just lift this up and show you the the green here. A little zoom in. There you go. 195. Great par four, this one. Beautiful, isn't it? It's going to be nice on the fairway. What are you going with? Five iron. Five ball, iron. Ball is above, so I'm down the handle a bit, so I'm just going to okay. go five iron. So ball pro bit, probably up. draw here a little bit. Bring the, get the slope a bit further away from me. Just, just hit it straight at the flag go. there. Get straight up, at the flag. Didn't quite strike at them. It was probably going to be short. Toe ended it. Front edge, hopefully. Yeah. Flag looks deep. We'll see. Okay, Andy, 182. You're in the same stuff as me. We're going to go with a just a smooth six iron. Then smooth six. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Another birdie, maybe. Turning over a little down the left. On the bank, the, the ball slightly above there, was it? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, just a bad shot really. Just turned it over. Probably chip in from there though. Probably. <laughs> oh, he's gone now. He's doing practice swings now. <laughs> right, Pierce just landed short. He's probably got about a 25, 30 yard shot up to this flag here. Loads of green to work with. Spin, 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 spin. And a good shot from that. Very nice. About four or five feet there for part. Look at that for a backdrop. Almost looks like it's painted on us, like it's a, a movie scene. Right. 
So virtually pin high, slightly left on the slight upslope out of the rough. Upslope out of the rough means he could take less loft. Don't know where he's going with 52 or 58. The way he's swinging that though, it looks like it might be more of a. He's going to go real high. Yeah, he's definitely opening that face on the way back. He's looking to land this and stop it within a yard, I reckon, which is interesting. He's obviously confident. It's just under hit. Okay, not sure what he was doing there. Thought he might have gone in with a little Too bit high, less loft. Yeah, just saying, looked as though you were playing a lot of loft, wasn't sure why. Yeah, I was trying to land it. Land it right close, yeah? Right, come on, par save. Okay, right, this is par. As he said there, par save. Worth watching these logs, I need to play some really good golf. What else we've been out here? He's got his game dialed in. Well worth checking out the rest. Ah, did I speak too soon? Not the best attempt yeah. there. A few scrappy ones there. Thank you. Finding it too easy, I think. That must well, be you it. Know, I needed that to happen just to You need that to give you a kick at the backside. Kick. Yeah. Okay, so Pierce is put here now. He's got like a little downhill, slightly off the right. I'm sure, this will not be an issue. Pretty good up and down here. It's a tough bar four. Yeah, nice left side of the cup. Good putt. Good, good, good him down there, Pierce. That's a good Cram save. Like that, yeah. Par off there. Par on that hole. Oh, uh, that's the yeah. toughest hole we've played so far, I think, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, 471, almost par five. Mm, very good. Okay, so one slipped away from me there, a little bogey, but like I say, it might give me a kick up the backside. Right, hope you enjoyed part two there, guys, of our course log at Indian Wells on the celeb course. Make sure you check out part one if you haven't already seen that. And we've got part three next, please. Absolutely, yes, part three next. And also, make sure you check out our daily vlog, our experience of staying here at the Hyatt at Indian Wells. It's been fantastic. And we'll see you in part three. Yeah, and post your comments down below, guys. We'd love to hear what you got to think about this fantastic golf course. Thanks for watching.